Nikita, today I promise to love you unconditionally, honour you and cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to be there to encourage you and motivate you to achieve the great things in life I know you are capable of. And I promise to trust and listen to you every day. Promise to be a good dad to our four-legged fur baby Hachi. <laughs> and take him for walks when you're too tired and you can't be bothered. <laughs> I promise to be as silly, as annoying and as spontaneous as I am now, even when we're old, grey and wrinkly. You really mean the world to me and there's no one else I'd rather talk to. At the end of a rough day, no one else's opinion I value more than yours. And there's no other smile that means more to me than that one right there. I'm really glad you're smiling because that would have been, that would have fallen really flat if you weren't. I'll be there to keep that smile on your face throughout whatever life has to throw at us. Through thick and thin, good and bad, happy and sad, I'll be right there. Except if there's a cockroach or a moth, then you're on your own. There are a lot of people in this world, but there's no one better suited for me than you. And I'm so happy we were brave enough all those years ago to take a leap of faith and decide to be together. I love you. It's you and me. And I choose you a thousand times over. Paul, these vows have been written long before you proposed. Long before we took the leap of faith, leap to be together. <laughs> long before you were mine, my love and commitment to you began with a friendship. I didn't know then, when our friendship began, that this sweet, gentle, and only sometimes funny friend <laughs> was everything that I'd been waiting for. Baby, you make me better. You are patient, and God knows you need it with me. You lower my thoughts, and you calm me down. You support me in all I do, and you challenge me to challenge myself. You see the lighter side of everything. I promise to feign an interest in cricket for the rest of our days. To love claret and blue, to know that three bottles of sriracha is never enough, that toothpaste must be bought in bulk, and that FIFA is not just a game. <laughs> but most importantly, in a thousand lifetimes, if I had a thousand choices, I would choose you. And it is now my hugest pleasure that I now pronounce them husband and wife. Woohoo! Paul, you may now kiss the bride. Yoo-hoo!